Okay guys, welcome back out to the field. Uh, this is the field we were on two episodes ago. If you remember, we were on that little field over there through the gap in the hedge. Um, it's, yeah, not bad weather today. It's cloudy, it's overcast. It's not that cold, but it's uh, it's also not very warm. So I think it's like five or six degrees. Uh, so yeah, we're back out with the day as two. There she is. Uh, we're gonna be in general mode today. Um, same settings as the last time I was out. So X, Y screen, uh, general mode square tones and yeah so we're going to start swinging uh, i'm getting a little bit of emi just here though uh, we've got some power lines just behind us so we're going to move away from them uh we've got this part of the field to go in right at the top haven't been here before this part of the field um but if the emi is too bad then i'll, I'll head down the bottom of the field i uh, don't quite know how to get rid of the emi yet uh, i'll have to ask griff fines to make a video on it um yeah like i keep saying guys if you've got a day as two or if you're getting a day as two get over to Griff Finds. Um, he's making some incredible uh, little short snippet um, uh, like settings and features, little videos uh, just to help set those up. Um, I found them very, very useful. And uh, I know my good friend Marcus at Notch211, he's finding them useful too. Uh, and in fact, go check out his channel as well. He just had a, a little Roman locking mechanism artifact the other day, which is absolutely fantastic. So Marcus, there's Roman stuff on that field, mate. Come on, you can get a coin. If you can get a coin with the day as two then that, that'll justify getting it mate um yeah so without further ado let's get on with the first target okay first find of the day it's just in here ah it's like a little one of those little rivet things i think i say first target of the day we found three pieces of lead so far but i haven't filmed those for obvious reasons <laughs> all right let's carry on Okay, solid 75, and we've got a button. Even got a shank on it. Nice. Now on to the next. Okay, just broken up the clod. Uh, is that another button? Yeah, it is. God, that one's got a shank on the back as well, look. Right, on to the next. Right, looks possibly like a bit of buckle, maybe. Hmm, not so sure. No, I think it is. I think it's half a buckle, isn't it? Or maybe a strap end or something. All right, cool. Let's carry on. Okay, so that's the gap in the uh, in the field where we went last week. Uh, it's a really iron infested, horrible patch. I've just come from up here. I uh, had to contend with some EMI from those lines, uh, but we do have a target. Maybe half a coin. Could be half a button. It could be. Piece of rubbish. Like I say, it was in amongst uh, a lot of iron. Oh, yeah, the colour of it. I was getting excited then. Thought it might have been a hammered coin, but then it, it did feel too thick. But there's a broken shank on the back. Half a button. It could be a bit of a button day today. All right, let's carry on. Okay, so just to let you know, we've actually changed the settings slightly. We're, we're running on our profile. We've been running on that since we got here. Named it My Field the other day. Uh, but we have just changed the, uh, so we've got the sensitivity to 97, that was on 95. Uh, if we scroll down, and uh, reactivity, we stuck it down to 2 from 2.5. So that should give us a, a little bit more depth, because um, I think what we are finding is fairly close to the surface. It's like, well, you know, within sort of 4 or 5 inches. Um, and we've also uh, grabbed, or grab balanced or i don't know what it stands for um ground balance is what we used to call it on the simplex um so in in, in order to do this check out griff finds video it's very simple all you do is stick it on this um setting here you hold down the the little red pinpointer uh button hold it down pump the coil a few times up and down up and down up and down and that will change uh the uh, ground balance settings to uh what you want it to be so uh let's carry on and we'll see if that improves anything Okay, really deep hole this one, about eight inches. Uh, we pinpointed it down to the bottom there. Let's just lower you down. There's a rim. Is that a coin? It's on its side as well. I don't know if I've uh, flipped it over. It was a very bitty signal. It wasn't that clear. Uh, so hopefully changing the settings has worked. I think it is a coin, you know, but I don't think there's any detail on that. Um, it's quite thick. Be a George III maybe, I don't know, is it a bit small for a half penny? Don't know, um, 
I'm going to give it a quick clean. If it's anything any good, I'll come back to you. Otherwise, we'll have to try and give that a clean when we get home, I think. All right, on to the next, probably. Okay, next one up uh, is a little bullet. All right, not having too much luck, so I think um need a bit of help from the detecting gods. So, on to the next one. Absolute screaming target. I had to turn the detector down a bit. 79, let's see what we got. Okay, that absolute screamer of a target is whatever that is. I don't think it's a coin. Um, let's have a little look. No. Not even sure it's a bit of horse tack, to be honest. Not a ring, is it? Very thin. Don't know, could be a bit of horse tack possibly, or some sort of harness thing. Oh well, let's carry on. And it looks like another button. Yep, broken shank, pewter, on to the next. A fairly deep button, but we've got another button, it's got a bit of detail on it. Unfortunately it's broken, um, well it does have the shank, so, you know, win some you lose some I guess. Alright, on to the next. Okay, next one up, a little lead bullet. Um, I think we're going to start heading back towards the car soon, which is all the way over there. Um, yeah, we only had a few hours anyway. Um, I need to go and do some video editing and then have some dinner. So, we'll start heading back. There'll probably be a few more. So, on to the next. Quite a deep one. Uh, a loud tone, it was a really nice signal. And I really thought we had a hammered coin, but half a button. All right, let's carry on. Okay, so we're just heading back to the car, which is just around that corner. And we've got probably the best signal of the day. Solid 95. Uh, nothing on the X wide chart. Well, let's see what it is. Wow, best signal of the day. <laughs> it just turned out to be that. Um, I don't know, is that a ring maybe it's been squashed slightly? Is that like a heart shaped? I think that bent part is by design. As you can see there. I don't know, maybe it's a ring. Maybe I'm just clutching at straws because we haven't really found anything today. Right, I think we're going to be heading to the outro now. Oh dear. Right, I think we're going to call it a day, guys. Um, it's freezing cold. I've got a nice big bowl of chilli waiting for me when I get home, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, didn't find too much today, a few buttons, possibly an underscript coin, uh, a few other little bits and pieces. So, you know, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, that's what real metal detecting is all about, isn't it? You know, um, I, I, I appreciate that one of my fields is pretty epic and we normally pull up a Roman or a Hammy every time we go on it. But, you know, it's nice to get over to these fields where they are, they tend to be a bit quieter. Um, you know, and the, the, the really good items are a bit more scattered about, I suppose. Um, but, you know, still absolutely loving the day as two. Um, she's finding me all sorts of things. We're playing with the settings slightly. So uh, we are learning uh, a little bit about her. Um, yeah, so all in all, quite a happy uh, trip. Quite, quite, quite pleased with that. So um, I'm going to take this opportunity because the, uh, the actual hunt wasn't great. So I'll take this opportunity to announce my 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, we're on 436 I think at the moment so we're getting there um, if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button I really appreciate your support um, tell your friends tell your family and share it around Facebook etc um, so we're going to be doing four maybe five prizes depending how generous I'm feeling um, I don't know what prizes I'm going to give away yet I haven't decided uh, but they will be pretty cool um, it's going to be UK only I'm afraid um, I had a, an issue sending something to Ireland last time and it was just a bit too much faff to go through all that again. So, uh, yeah, sorry sorry to all my overseas subscribers, uh, but it's only going to be UK, I'm afraid. So uh, we're going to be out again next Friday, I think, or this coming Friday, because it's Sunday today. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be on the other field, uh, pull up a few epic relics or something, or some nice coins. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.